Whoa, what's Zam? Today's video is on cancel culture. Now, if you're new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And I want y'all to understand that cancel shit, that is not us, y'all. That is America running that bullshit. We don't walk, we as black people, I never ran into a black person who said, we canceled this person and canceled this. We don't, we don't do no motherfucking canceling. The only people who you see yelling at bullshit is people who watch TV. TV too damn much and let TV determine their goddamn actions. Look, cancel culture. When something is canceled, it is null, ended, voided, and all of that bullshit. And when you type in cancel culture, all the shit gonna be against it. Why it's so bad? Why it's hurting everybody? Look, usually public figures are said to be canceled after being discovered that they have done something offensive. No, goddamn it. When they are, when they have fucking sold out the black person have sold out black people that's when they supposedly called canceled with black people we don't say the word canceled we just stop fucking with you i don't fuck with that nigga no more you know i don't fucking with them i ain't fucking with this and i ain't fucking with that god damn it we don't walk around saying you canceled canceled this look what they use boycotting their work that lets you know white people is in charge of this shit. We don't even boycott a fucking thing. You know what we do? We stop watching your movies, stop listening to your music because you're a goddamn coon and you sold us out. Look, come on, man. Continue with this bullshit. These figures and many more did lose their careers, reputations, or work opportunities after getting canceled. You see that bullshit? Ooh, they went through so much after people said they was canceled. Oh, they lost their careers and opportunities and all of that. And then right here, they let you know who owned it. If you ask me or if you have a third eye around this bitch, they say, and with respect to me too. Me too, and y'all know me too don't include us too. It don't include black people. They don't even fight for the rights of black women who being abused in the music industry and every other industry. They only talk about motherfucking whites, God damn it, or trying to uh, low rate fucking black men. Talk about black men like they ain't shit. Look, talking about many effectively lost their lives as they know it to them the fuck out of here they lost their lives as they know it for selling the fuck out god damn it we not fucking with you sellouts no more like baynard rusting y'all got away with it god damn it but you new ones know we putting your ass under for your goddamn crimes against black people the critics of cancel culture they hurry up and go to the critics of it criticisms of cancel culture centered on the feeling that people were becoming too keen to ruin lives over mistakes made many years ago, right? They ruining lives over mistakes made. Are you fucking crazy? Some of these people know exactly what they did. Matter of fact, not some, majority of them know exactly what the fuck they doing. They selling black people out and some of them purposely doing it just to line their motherfucking pockets. And to me, your life need to be, your life need to be ruined, God damn it. We tired of you stupid ass celebrities putting us down or guiding us in the wrong fucking direction and you're going to pay for it. Talking about the people ain't get a second chance. Fuck them. You know how many times they fuck over us? These stupid ass rappers guiding our young men and women to be strippers and drug sellers and fucking uh worshiping material items and all of this bullshit. You know how repeatedly they do these actions? I don't give a fuck about a second chance for them. Talking about social media is too quick to pile on and police increasingly high standards of political correctness or increasingly high standards like telling them stop selling us out stop making us look bad terry cruz stop fucking rapping about selling drugs and all of that shit coon ass rappers stop telling our girls to strip and that uh women's empowerment is a wet ass vagina stop doing that that's an increasingly high standard y'all that's an increasingly high fucking standard. Get the fuck out of here, goddammit. We holding y'all ass accountable. And look who they go to. Not black people. Look who opinion they fucking uh, publish first on this dumbass. I think this New York Times or Reuters, is one of them dumbass ones. Being on the fence, getting more information is fine. In this case, if you know, you know. Seek advice from someone who can actually translate a situation for you. For you, then have an actual conversation with your web 
web whatever the fuck they saying but down there say i'm really sick of cancel culture and a drama and people having to take a stance or make a statement well then you should sit your stupid ass down and go to sleep because today we making a stance and a statement around here we ain't just sitting down listening to the media or listen to whatever fucking public figure they want to guide us in the wrong goddamn direction talking about it's okay to be open-minded and sit back for a second to see how things play out before making a solid opinion they want you to sit your ass back y'all sit back until they distract your ass with some whack-ass issue we, until they distract you with fucking uh with this shit covid corona whatever the fuck until they distract you you should sit back look at the names they mentioned first others meanwhile have criticized cancel others meanwhile have criticized all they talking about is critics of it not the people who stand for canceling these fake motherfuckers for constantly selling us out and not just these stupid ass celebrities them whack ass politicians who fucking tell us to vote democrat and all of that old bullshit leading us in the wrong direction to vote for people who don't give a damn about us and ain't got no plans to help us succeed around this bitch if less than before despite the sexual assault claims against them that people still listen to michael jackson's music despite the sexual child abuse look they using michael jackson a fucking man who been dead man been dead god damn ain't nobody worrying about michael jackson with no sexual assaults claims and all of that bullshit that y'all bought against him we don't give a fuck about that yeah we still listen to his music you idiot yet others object to the name cancel culture arguing that the label misunderstands that people are simply trying to hold people accountable for their fucking actions that's the only time i think they defended it god damn it that we simply trying to hold motherfuckers accountable for their actions go to the next one you are witnessing a rebel network Cancel culture started trending again in 2020 amid increased, increased awareness of and opposition to racial injustice following a protest sparked by the killing of George Floyd. Discussion of cancel culture flared up in the mainstream media after publication of a letter criticizing cancel culture in Harper's Magazine and President Donald Trump compared cancel culture to totalitarianism. Wow, you see how powerful the black voice is? They even labeling it totalitarianism around this bitch. You see how powerful our voice is they even writing letters to criticize our f fucking voice btn voice god damn it the ongoing protests also led to renewed demands for the canceling of already controversial things such as symbols of the confederacy statues of christopher columbus washington redskins oh see how they planting these motherfuckers in some type of light oh not the confederacy symbols man oh we gotta keep that up you know they already attacking our symbols get the fuck out of here no, ain't nobody trying to stand under old racist ass confederate flags and shit ain't nobody trying to worship no fake motherfucker named christopher columbus who ain't discover a goddamn thing how you gonna discover something if people already there people already there in the name of the washington redskins football team oh they so fucking effective the fuck out of here y'all we should note that a variety of earlier slangs of cancel can be found reaching the 1990s look black twitter is credited for it in the mid 2010s oh black twitter huh? it's black twitter and you know how the word black twitter got a stigma that they created too look and they mentioned me too again canceling spread as a term and phenomenon in the public consciousness with the me too movement once again Y'all know we don't run Me Too. Y'all know Me Too is black, anti, ant, I mean, anti-black man and the anti-black woman because you never see them standing up for black women who go through all kind of terrible shit in this horrific ass country we live in. Do you see them standing up for black women? But you sure see them talking about black men like a fucking dog. The owner, what's up, face? I can't even think of a dog face ass going up there and say, I don't have to just be searching after no uh white men just to make y'all feel better. These are the people I'm going after. These niggas, these Bill Cosby, them, you know, R. Kelly. Look, look, speaking of that, that's the first names they mentioned. Oh, Harvey Weinstein, Matt Lauer, Louis C.K., and R. Kelly was getting canceled. 
the fuck out of here. Other figures were getting canceled for past racist and anti-LGBTQ march like Shane Gillis, Kevin Hart, and all of that bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. That lets you know that these people run me too. And they run all of this bullshit that they put in front of our face talking about Kevin Hart. Ain't nobody was worrying about no motherfucking Kevin Hart. Look, the term for people who have been thrust out of social or professional circles. Look, that Coon Barack, look what he said. Politically woke, saying if you're do all you're doing is casting stones, you're probably not going to get too far. If it wouldn't for us, your bitch ass wouldn't have got too far with your lying ass. See, we got to understand, y'all. These people know how to dirty up words. They know how to create movements. They created cancel culture. We didn't create that bullshit. When black people don't fuck with you, they don't fuck with you, goddammit. They leave you alone. They don't label it. Oh, we ain't eating that no more, man. Nigga ain't eating that no more. We ain't buying from, man, we ain't buying from them no more. We ain't listening to that. We ain't buying this. We ain't voting that, goddammit. Get the hell out of here, y'all. Come on, man. Talking about the origin of cancel culture. I ain't even about to read all of this bullshit. Y'all understand where the fuck I'm coming from? These people create this bullshit. They know what they doing. They use movements like this to dirty up what the fuck we got going. Oh, black people trying to mobilize and hold people accountable. Let's make that shit look sticky. Oh, y'all ain't giving people a second chance, man. Y'all ruining lives, man. Y'all ruining lives as those people know it, man. Y'all see what the fuck they say? But these the people who you rather subscribe to? Get the fuck out of here, man. You are witnessing a rebel network. Once again, y'all holler at me.